wearing my hat as a musician. I'm either filmmaking or woodworking. And today I'm going to share with you a little woodworking tip. Um, and I'm filming this on a new camcorder that I've just acquired, which is really quite amazing. So the tip is really very simple. When you're wanting to screw fix wood, instead of uh, changing bits all the time in your drill, why not dedicate three separate drills to the three operations? So you'd have one set up with the, uh, the counter bore or the pilot hole, the next one with the countersink, and the final one with the screwdriver bit. Now these drills here, in fact, I've had since around about 1989, 1990. It's quite incredible that they've lasted so well. Recently, I've had to replace the battery packs, and um, of course, there is a limited life on battery packs. The old NICAD ones suffer from the memory, so you have to make sure you discharge them totally on each um, recharge. Uh, but I think that's quite amazing that these tools have lasted so long and um, equally amazing that I've lasted so long. The modern screw has a posi drive or Phillips head and a screw thread that runs the entire length of the screw, whereas the traditional screw has a slotted head for a flat screwdriver and has a shank and screw thread. The important thing is that the shank of the screw runs freely in the shank hole. The traditional method of screw fixing is to drill a pilot hole through both pieces first and then drill a shank hole which clears the shank diameter of the screw and then the countersink. You can combine the countersink and drilling in one action by a designated bit. The important thing is that the screw head always sits below the surface of the wood 